This problem says let f be the function given by f of x is equal to 2 cosine of x plus 1. What is the approximation for f of 1.5 found by using the linear tangent to the graph of f at x is equal to pi over 2? Okay, so this is a linear approximation type of problem. A linear approximation means that if you have a, any graph and you're looking to linearly approximate that graph at some point, you would find that point on the graph, draw a tangent line, and then use the equation of that tangent line to then approximate what that graph is doing close to the point that you drew the line at. So using that idea, Because we're doing a straight line approximation, that means we're going to write an equation using the, um, a linear equation, which in this case, the point slope formula is most helpful. The point slope formula is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. You'll recognize this from algebra. But using it in the context of this question, we will be giving a point to draw our line at. So that point is going to be like when it says tangent to the graph at x is equal to pi over 2. That means we're looking for the point when x is pi over 2. And then the y coordinate of that point will be plugging in pi over 2 into our function. So plugging in pi over 2 into our function makes f of pi over 2 is 2 cosine of pi over 2 plus 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0. Um, and we can do that by using the unit circle pi over 2 is here and the coordinate there is 0 comma 1. The cosine of an angle is the x coordinate so that makes it 0. That would be 2 times 0 plus 1 which simplifies to 1. So our coordinate and I should have written this not in the formula color. Our coordinate that we're using for our point slope form is pi over 2 comma 1 so that's our x1 y1 and the slope of our line our m is going to be equal to the derivative at that point that we're plugging in so let me rewrite our formula in terms of the linear approximation form would be y minus let's call this f of a is going to be our our y1 our m our slope is going to be the derivative at a and that is multiplied by x minus our x coordinate we're calling a so this is our form this is the form of our linear equation that we can use for our linearization okay so we found that this is our a comma f of a. So we could go ahead and plug those numbers in. Or let's go ahead and find our derivative at a first. So finding our derivative, let's first find our derivative of x. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of 2 cosine x plus 1. We can use the formula that the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. So this is a general formula that you'll need to memorize generally unless um, your teacher allows you to use a formula sheet. So that would be 2 times cosine or wait our function sorry our function is 2 cosine of x. So cosine of x will go to negative sine x and then the derivative of a constant goes to zero. So the plus one will go to zero. So that means that our derivative 
is negative 2 sine x. And since we want to find f prime of a, where our a is pi over 2, we can plug in pi over 2 for x, and that makes negative 2 sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 we can find with the unit circle again that the sine of an angle is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So at pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1. So we can sub in negative 2 times 1, and that makes negative 2. Okay, so now we have our a, our f of a, and our f prime of a, and we can plug all those things into our equation. So that makes y minus f of a is 1 is equal to f prime of a is negative 2. The x will just stay x to make our linear equation, and then minus a, which is pi over 2. Okay, simplifying from here, we get y is equal to, I'll move the 1 to the other side and distribute the negative 2 in. That makes negative 2x, and the, the 2 on top and bottom cancels. The minus and minus makes a plus. So plus pi, and then moving the minus 1 to the other side makes plus 1. So this is our, this is our linearization formula. Since we're looking for f of 1.5, that means we're plugging in 1.5 into our line, into our linearization formula for x. So plugging that in is negative 2 times 1.5 plus pi plus 1. Simplifying, negative 2 times 1.5 makes negative 3. Bring down the plus pi plus 1. And combine like terms, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, so that would be pi minus 2, which is our final answer, or letter C. Okay, well I hope this homework help solution was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more similar videos of walking through homework problems. If you have a homework problem that you're struggling with and you'd like help with it, Feel free to leave that in the comments, or if it's easier, uh, I also have my email listed in the description so that you can send me an email as well. Well, thanks for watching and happy studies.